Let's talk about buying a microphone in the year 2023. Even if you're not a podcaster, but you're a marketer, you're a web agency owner, you're a freelancer, you want to get your business uh, out into the public. You want to leverage the audience and the network effects podcasts have for your brand. And by the way, that's totally okay. Jumping on a podcast to grow your personal brand, there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, as a podcaster, finding great guests, finding great content, that's something that I'm always after. And if you have great content, great stories, but you have bad audio, a lot of folks won't stick around to listen uh, to the entire show. And I'm not saying you have to spend thousands of dollars on your microphone and podcasting equipment. You don't have to be an audio engineer. You just have to get good quality sound. And 99% of the time, it's going to become, it's going to come from a microphone like this one, a microphone that you can plug in through USB, an external microphone, not the AirPods and not the laptop microphone. As I switch between them in this video, you should be able to hear the differences of the quality of pot of the microphones. Investing in something like the Samsung Q2U, anywhere between $50 to $100, it goes on sale quite often, plugs right into your laptop, super easy to use. But there are two tips that make the difference, all of the difference with podcast audio quality. Tip number one, it's getting a boom arm like the one I have here. I know it feels kind of geeky, techy. You might not have space for it, but getting the source or getting the microphone as close to the source of audio is the most important part of getting great sounding podcasts produced. Uh, a boom arm can be anywhere between $35 to $100, depending on which one you set up or pick. Uh, and getting it set up is super easy. You just put the microphone in, attach it to the desk, and then you move it as close to the source as possible. Tip number two is treating the room, and this is not a well-treated room, I'll be the first to admit. I have a big monitor right here off to my right. I do have some sound dampening uh, panels right in front of me to hopefully absorb some of the sound before it reverbs across the room. But I have windows open and I have a fan going. The difference is, is you'll hear less of the bad sounds uh, through this microphone, the Samsung Q2U, then you'll hear with the AirPods and the laptop microphone. And that's the biggest problem. If you're in a room with high ceilings, a lot of noise, just a lot of reverb, the cheaper microphones are really gonna emphasize the bad points. And that's what we wanna get away from. We wanna invest in a halfway decent external microphone, get that microphone etiquette dialed down right next to the source of your mouth uh, and just create great content from there. It'll just sound better. People will listen to you longer on these podcasts. Because the B2B, the marketing podcast space is so hot and so competitive, if there's a, a guest that are they're just using AirPods, I'm not going to listen. Chances are I'm not going to listen to the entire thing um, unless you have just a really compelling story. But it's just a, an average episode chances are I'm going to skip it to something that I can hear because with podcasts, I don't always have my headsets in or my AirPods in. I'm doing other things. I'm playing it on my phone. Uh, I'm working, I'm doing the dishes or I'm working out or something like that. Having good audio will make all the difference. Even if you're not a podcaster, Samson Q2U, very affordable, boom arm, mic etiquette, treat the rooms. You'll be off to the races. Thanks for watching today's video. Uh, hey, if you want to listen to a WordPress podcast, go to the WPMinute.com.